everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you how to manage promotions in Magento 2. Um, so Magento has two types of promotions. One is the catalog price rule, and the other one is shopping cart price rule, or cart price rules right here, if you go to the marketing section and promotions. The difference between the two of them is catalog price rules will actually, based on your rules, will make promotions when a user is browsing the site when they're browsing the catalog either they're on a category page or on a product page if the rules apply they'll see whatever promotion applies the cart price rules do exactly what it says which is the promotion would be applied in the card in the checkout phases so those are kind of two different things now the cart price rules by default has a few more options that you can do um, and a few and there's a few differences okay so let's start with the catalog price rules right now Okay, so for this example, I set up a simple category called shoes, and I set up a, these six products. Now, each of them have their own pricing. This is $50 and $50 and $120, etc. Um, so what I want to do is actually make a promotion, either a dollar amount off, maybe $10 off, or a percentage off, maybe 10%, 20% off the entire catalog. So the entire uh, shoes category, everything that is inside this category will have a promotion. So let's start. Okay, so catalog price rules. I'm going to click on add new. Excuse me, let's see what happened here. Let's go catalog price rules and click on add new. Okay, great. So um, now we're going to uh, name the actual promotion itself. So let's do right now 20%, let's do 10% off. Okay. Um, all shoes products. So right now I can, uh, this is my name, it's mandatory. Uh, the description is uh, in, an internal description for me to understand better about the promotion, but this is plenty for me. Okay, uh, the status is it active or not, which websites does it apply to, and also which groups does it apply to? Does it apply to a specific group, maybe a VIP group or a wholesale group, or for everybody? So if it's for everybody, and we allow guest checkout, we want to select all of them. Now we have to select the time frame. So I'm just going to do, let's say, for the entire month right now, and then the priority. So priority is used to um, prioritize if multiple promotions apply during the same rule. So sometimes you might have multiple promotions running at the same time, and you may or may not wish to have a customer be able to use more than one at a time. And so when we go, when we continue in this video, you'll be able to see and understand better about priority. Okay, so now we set up the name and kind of the default information, right? Which websites, which customers, and what time frame. So now we're going to uh, pr provide the uh, condition information. So if you don't do anything, then this promotion will apply always because the condition is in order to apply is of course the time and the groups but also if all of these conditions are true and because we don't have anything then it'll always be true so what we wanted to do is make this category have the promotion so let's click on plus and then go here and click on category right there okay and then I'm gonna click here and click right here and then just select my category so click and if you select multiple, you'll see there's a comma separated between them. Now, when you select the category, it'll use the Magento internal ID of that category. So that's why I like to click here to just easily select. Okay, once you finish, let's apply. And now the condition will apply if category is number nine, which is the shoe category. Now what we need to do is apply the action, which is what is going to happen when the conditions are met. And so if, if you remember, we named this 10% off. So I'm actually going to specify that it will apply in its action a percentage of the original price, 10%, and then I would save it, okay? So before I do that, I want to explain a few other things. So uh, the, the next thing is if you do not want other rules to apply, so other promotions may apply based on other logic that you've set up, if you do not want, you need to use this setting to discard subsequent rules. And so what that means is if you have multiple rules, you need to tell the system which rule will apply first and which will, will apply next. So as a rule of thumb, if you go to the priority, the lower the number, the 
first it'll apply. So for example, one would apply before rule number two, three, four. So you need to use this if you have more than one priority. And if you do want multiple um, promotions to apply, you can set this, right? So do not discard, just continue and continue, okay? So once you finish this, you have to save, you have to save it. Um, and in order for it to go live, after you save it, although the status is active, you still have to apply it. You have to apply to the system. The system has to kind of make its own calculations to set the promotion live. So you have the option to either save and apply here, or what I typically do is uh, click on save and then apply it from the main page. So now both of them are the same, but uh, that's up to you. If you do not do that, then it will not go live, okay? Now, um, this message appeared because once you set it live, the system needs to run its own uh, kind of indexing and, and uh, apply this. So it's basically telling us that one of the indexations are not valid and uh, every minute this should run on this system. You see right here, catalog a rule product. It has not applied, but if we wait one minute, then uh, it should be fine. Okay, so let's go to, let's go here. Let's see if it applied. If not, we got to wait. Okay, so we got to wait a little bit. In the meantime, while we wait this one minute, let's go over a few other options here, okay? So I'm going to edit this right here. And I'm going to go to um, conditions, and I want to show you a few other things. So number one is you can have more than one rule. So for example, if we selected here, I can select if all of these conditions are true, maybe category is this and it's a specific attribute set, right? So attribute sets are different types of products. So maybe shoes may have a different attribute set than TVs or something like that. So that is uh, in another video we, we created, you can see uh, more about attribute sets, but it's basically the type of product, okay? Um, so you can basically have a condition which is all of these, this and this and this and etc. cetera, um, or you can have any, right? So you can always play with if this or this applies, then the whole promotion would apply. And so you can also set true, false, and you can kind of work with that. Sometimes you want to have negatives. Maybe you have too many definitions. You can go the other way around and use uh, false. Okay, so let's do this. The other thing for actions, you can also apply a fixed amount off. So maybe $12 off. Doesn't matter what the price is, we provide $12 off. Okay, so that's the idea. This is uh, catalog price rules. So let's see if indexation has applied. And let's see. Okay, so it looks like it did rerun it. Let's refresh the page. And now you can see that the 10% off applied. It was 50, now it's 45, etc. So you can see now everything applied. It looks good. Great. So now we finish that. Now um, let me remove, let's, let's actually uh, delete this rule. Okay right here now we removed it we finished with that okay so it'll again it'll take one minute to re-index everything now let's talk about the cart rules okay so let's talk about a few things right here so we're gonna add a new cart rule okay and let's do also let's say a coupon coupon for uh, five percent off okay so again the same thing applies percentages off or dollar amount off okay so let's make a coupon so if someone enters a coupon, then they will get during the checkout, during the cart, they'll get a promotion. Okay, is it active? Same thing. We apply our websites, we apply our groups. And here I specify a coupon. After this, we can talk about what types of promotions can work without coupons. Okay, but basically um, a coupon is kind of like an, an extra um, condition. Okay, so let's do a coupon and let's just call it... Uh, what do we do here? Five off. Okay, five percent off. Um, using auto generation will later on enable us to auto generate coupons, but here we specified the specific coupon to be used. So I don't want to use auto generation. Um, now we can set the amount of uses per coupon. So maybe I can have only only one for whoever uses it. Only one will be available. And then if one person uses, another person cannot. So uses per coupon and then uses per customer. Maybe I might have 100 uses for this entire coupon, but I limit it one per customer, okay? And again, this is used for logged in customers only, okay? So if you have, for example, guest checkout, that would not apply, 
okay? So now I'm going to specify the time. Again, I'm going to select this month, for example. And priority is the same thing we talked about if you, uh, from before if you want a specific promotion to apply before others, okay? Um, public and RSS feed, this is only if you use, so let's do no. No, we don't use that, okay? Um, so let's move on to the next thing. So conditions. When does it apply? So number one, it applies when it's active, it's someone surfing this website, and someone's one of these uh, groups, which is correct, and someone uses this coupon in the checkout. So let's refresh this for a second. Okay, so now we remove the other promotion. Let's add this to cart. Okay, and let's go to the cart and let's go to the actual shopping cart. So the product is $50. I have a coupon code. Let's use five off. And because I didn't save it, of course, nothing would happen, right? So no, no promotions, nothing. Okay, there's nothing applied. Now um, you see is not valid, of course. So now um, the the first condition is all of these plus someone using the coupon. So if I want only to use the coupon and the dates, then all would be would be fine. Okay, so let's click on this for a second and. Let's go back. Okay, so let's try it again. Let's apply this five off. And it says you've used the coupon, that's great. And let's see what happened here. Okay, so I, you use the coupon, but it's not applying yet. Okay, so we need to continue a few more things here. Okay, so right now we're back here, conditions. Okay, so if all of these are met, now if you go here, we have many different types of things we can select, more than the catalog price rules. I can select that it would apply when you use the coupon uh, when you have a certain subtotal, for example, maybe when the subtotal is uh, equal or greater than $100. So if you spend more than $100 and you use this coupon, then it would apply. You can also do things such as maybe the total weight or the payment method. Use Bitcoin, use credit card, use PayPal, and get this promotion. Um, you can also do things like maybe the country, shipping in US only for people who use the coupon, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So you can do those things. So um, let's skip it and then let's actually go, go uh, back for it, okay? So right now it'll apply to all, all products. Now, what is the action? Again, if you remember, we said 5% off. So same thing applies. Let's do uh, percent off, okay, and then five percent, okay, and then you have some other features, for example, um, maximum quantity and things like that. So I'm gonna just keep it the way it is right now. You can apply uh, to shipping, not just to products, and then of course, if you wanna have more than one rule, apply, okay, and then you can also apply free shipping depending on how you set up your shipping rates, okay? That, that'll kind of change. So in this case, all we want to do is apply 5% off. Now, uh, labels, these are just the, the names. If you have multiple store views, different languages, you're going to input all the languages right there of the promotion. So when someone applies, it would say 5% off in all the languages, okay? Right here. Great. So now this is the manage, manage coupon codes. So this tab is used only if you want to auto generate okay and we didn't select auto generate before so everything's grayed out but if you want to auto generate I'll show you a uh, shortly how that works okay so um, I think we applied and now it should work so now we've actually really applied the 5% off before we try to use it and there's no promotion because we didn't set a percentage so let's go here and let's refresh the cart Okay, and now that we refresh the cart, the 5% off applied. Before we applied it, it was working, but we didn't specify a percentage off. So now you can see that it works. Okay, so let's edit this again. Okay, perfect. And that, that's basically it. So this is a coupon. So let me give you another example here. If I don't want a coupon, then it would only apply this promotion in the cart and checkout based on the conditions. And in this case, it means every single product because we didn't set any conditions, right? So uh, that is it. 
Now, um, so I, I don't need to show you an example of that. That, that should make sense. Um, the last one is if you do want a coupon but you want to auto-generate, Magento has a nice functionality. So uh, let's do this specific coupon. Let's have this blank and check and then check this box. Okay. So now that I check the box, now I can use manage coupon codes. So what this basically does is enables us to auto generate a bulk amount. So I can tell it, hey, please make for me 50 coupons right here. And what is the length of the code? So typically uh, before when we said five off, that's four characters. So the length, let's say, would be five, and I can tell it to auto-generate numbers and letters, um, or numbers and letters, so something like that. And if I want to start with a specific prefix or end with a specific suffix, so let's do this. Um, let's do this uh, holidays dash. So I want to start with holidays dash, and then I want to have five characters. So let's click on generate. Okay, and then I can also use the dash every characters, of course. So click here, generate. Now I made 50 coupons. You see, holidays dash, and they, these are all all unique. So now when I manage it, I can see when they're created, how many if they were used, and how many times. So if you create unique coupons, you could potentially use the setting um, uses per customer, maybe really do limit it per one if you want. So that's kind of a more used case, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, and then once you apply, you can give out those coupons. You can export these and then import them into some other system or put them into your newsletter, for example, and start sending out to all of your customers. Uh, that's basically it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be very happy to help. Thank you.